I don't know if you can hear me. I said nice job, Shane. Yeah, you did such a good job. It's a good job. All right, Chief Meteorologist Rachel Frank joining us now with another look at the forecast. Oh, you're doing such a good job, Rachel. I was waiting. Rachel. I was hoping that I would get some accolades. <laughs> She's been busy the past couple days. No, it's been a cold, rainy day, at least here in the Hartford area. It's been so blah, but in the Northwest Hills, it's been a bit more slushy and areas of rain and snow will continue to linger as we head through the evening tonight. But the good news is it is gone by the time you wake up tomorrow morning and the weekend is looking great. Watch for areas of patchy ice into Saturday morning. For most of the state, it won't be an issue with temperatures staying above freezing, but in certain areas, the numbers will drop below freezing or already are are below freezing and sometimes you can have these tricky slippery spots even where the thermometer on your car might say it's above freezing if you're driving over an overpass or a bridge for example so right now 33 in Torrington 38 in Hartford clearly we're not going to have any icy spots in Groton tonight but I wanted to show you we are down around or below freezing for some in the hills and I know that those you know, all the crews are out working so hard to keep the roads clear. But again, sometimes there's only so much you can do. Here's a look at freezing temperatures. So where you see the purple and the blue, that is showing you where temperatures are below freezing heading through the evening tonight and into tomorrow morning. We will be a little bit below freezing in northeastern Connecticut, Danbury, Waterbury, all of Litchfield County and northwestern Hartford County. So if we are going to have some trouble spots, those are likely where you're going to be more likely to find them. And as we head through the course of the day on Saturday, those will ease up. Still seeing some of those showers out there right now. And if we widen out the picture, you'll see it is still snowing pretty heavily to the north. We just missed out on one heck of a snowstorm. All right, taking a look as we head through midnight, we still have some of that precipitation out there, but it is clear by the time 6 a.m. rolls around. Still some clouds out there if you're up real early in the morning. And overall, it's a partly cloudy day with temperatures that will be around 40 degrees. Hopefully you had a lot of that snow from the last event that melt melted away during today's rain and heading into Sunday. I think we see mostly sunny skies, but it's a chilly sunshine. I'll show you the numbers. Here's a look at those overnight lows dropping back into the 30s, which is pretty much where they are right now for inland Connecticut, but we will drop a little bit further for the shoreline heading into Saturday highs in the low to mid 40s as we head through the afternoon and it's that cool sunshine for Sunday 38 the high temperature in Hartford right around 40 for the New Haven area. So if you are dreaming of a white Christmas uh, odds are better than 50 50 typically. So we're looking at the probability of at least one inch of snow on the ground because that's what we consider to be the definition of a white Christmas. You wake up and you see white on the ground. So historically the odds are a little better than 50 50 in the Northwest Hills. They're 10% along the shoreline southeastern Connecticut. I would say this year the odds might be a little bit better than usual just because there is a storm to track. Right now the question is, does it track the right way or is it to the west of us? meaning a Grinch storm, more rain. I mean, not everybody is hoping for a white Christmas. Some people just want to be able to get to see friends and family heading closer to the holidays. So that's the time frame to watch Thursday and Friday and just in time because it looks like the official start of winter is Wednesday, guys.